We have new rumors of the iPhone 11 Pro and iPhone 11 Pro Max, and we hope the name changes. If you have a 2015 MacBook Pro, you should go get your battery replaced as it's now getting banned by the FAA. And now we have a launch date for Samsung's new Galaxy Play Link feature, which we are definitely waiting for. I'm Jaime Rivera, day three from Shenzhen. It's been crazy, it's been nice. We had a lot of time uh, in the Disneyland factory, should we call it, from Huawei? Watch our Instagram stories for more on that. This is Pogging Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals on Amazon if you're a student. Bear in mind, I'm clarifying. As it stands, you have a chance to take advantage of 40% off the entire Echo line of devices. There's a list of specific codes for each of these, which is in the link in the description. The Echo Show, for example, for $54 is a very compelling deal, starting with the fact that I just spent, uh, what, like 100 bucks after Amazon Prime Day? So you can learn more about everything in the description. Now we have uh, new leaks from Motorola, and this is rather interesting because I wasn't expecting to see something that I'd actually find enticing from this company anymore, and they're kind of proving me wrong here. We've got the new Motorola One Zoom and One Pro, and according to Roland Quant, it will bring Alexa and some Amazon services pre-installed, so it will have an Amazon variant, and the other variant will run Android One. It has four cameras at the back, and the logo lights up, and it has a teardrop notch at the front. Now, I don't know exactly what to expect from having an Amazon version of the phone, that we could be getting ads when you set up the lock screen, which is fine, but I'm hoping it's no forked version of Android and no Amazon App Store for apps or whatever the case may be. We'll keep you posted as soon as we learn more. Now, for those of you that joined Spotify and complaining about the fact that Apple pretty much has created a walled garden where all they want is Amazon Music, or they make it really difficult for iOS users to use Spotify, well, uh, this is about to change. Spotify and Apple are finally in talks in bringing Siri Spotify support to iOS 13. With iOS 13, Apple is opening SiriKit framework to third-party music players, podcasts, audiobooks, and others, which is what Spotify will be taking advantage of. Spotify has also removed some of their claims that Apple has been sabotaging them by not letting people use Spotify on the HomePod, even though I think Spotify should come to the realization that the problem is not really that, it's the fact that very few people had bought HomePod. You can learn more about that in the description. Now, if you remember during my hands-on of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and 10 Plus, one of the things that made me the craziest was this whole Galaxy Play Link, the fact that you can play your games remotely and use your PC pretty much as the host. The only problem is that after the Impact event when it was announced, the company never really gave us a launch date. Samsung has now uploaded a video of the feature to their Korean channel, and now TechCrunch is reporting that the service will be available on Windows and Android early this September. I think that this is a true game changer for the Note, it's just funny that this is not the gaming phone, but this is a really cool way to game. I just, like I told Samsung in my briefing, I just, guys, come on, come up with a controller and then I could take whatever it is that you're doing even more seriously. Now, for those of you that are rocking the 15-inch MacBook Pro, and I'm talking about the newer design that's uh, brought all the issues with the butterfly switches and absolutely everything, it seems that there's an even bigger problem. If you have a device between 2015 and February 2017, you're not allowed to fly with it. If you have one of these laptops, Apple has a battery replacement program that started in June, and some airlines have started warning people not to use it on flights as the ban has now escalated, and now the FAA has banned them from being taken on flights, even as cargo. There's apparently 432,000 models affected in the United States, and, uh, well, this is rather interesting because how are they gonna know that you have those variants and not the newer ones is the biggest question. Uh, because I have a, what, a 2018 model and it looks identical. So uh, just bear in mind, you might go through some issues. And finally, the hottest news today have to also do with Apple, now with the iPhone 11. Uh, we've heard names like iPhone and then the iPhone Pro and iPhone whatever. Now we've got some documentation and uh, it comes from two different sources, which is the 
part that's getting us worried because the names are getting a little ridiculous. The first one comes from case makers, which have uh, them listed as the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro, the iPhone 11 Pro Max in their store. And the second one should be taken with a grain of salt as someone who claims to be a Foxconn employee has some information. Apparently it will bring a new dark green color besides the original three, all of them with a frosted glass back. They will stick to the lightning cable with no changes in charging speeds. He also claims that the Max will have a 3,969 milliamp hour battery with a storage capacity that caps out at 512 gigs of storage. Um, I don't know. Let us know what you think. I mean, I'm currently in Shenzhen where I went to Wonchampe and I saw like so many uh, cases that are fake. Uh, and obviously they have weird names, so I'm not going to say that this is the final name, but let us know in the comments down below what do you think. Do you think you like them? Do you think they're ridiculous? And what about that whole green color variant? What are your thoughts on that? Because in my case, I would love anything that's different to what we already have, but green, that's going to be kind of weird. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. Everything that I've been doing here is there. And also follow my personal handles to see what I'm doing in my personal level. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.